Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be fitting the solar panels to the top of our Mercedes Sprinter camper conversion. If you haven't already done so, then check out our previous videos where we'll be walking you through different parts of this build. But the next phase we're going to be looking at is fitting the solar panels onto the roof of the van. We're going to be fitting these onto the ulti racks that we've put up on the top of the van. If you haven't already done so, check out the video of our install of the ulti racks, which we'll put a link to just up here. Go and check that out. One of the things that we want to be able to do with the solar panels is tilt them towards the sun. Uh, we've read quite a bit online where tilting these towards the sun just gives you that extra little bit of um, draw from the sun. Obviously if you can angle them you don't get those shadows going down onto the solar panel. So what we've managed to do is we've managed to fabricate some brackets. We didn't want to have to drill into the roof of the van or drill into the roof of uh, drill into any of the bars of the ulti rack. So we've managed to fabricate some brackets, which we'll show you that allow us to clamp the solar panels onto those brackets and then allow us to tilt them up. So these are the two brackets that we fabricated. We have this one here, which is going to be on one side of the solar panel which will have a heavy duty hinge on the top here which allows the solar panel to tilt and then the bracket just here then loops underneath the bar of the ulti rack and then clamps that panel up nice and tight and on the other side we're going to be using this bracket just here which is just a U bracket there's no top to this one because this one is just going to screw this side here is just going to screw straight into the solar panel and then what we're going to have is we're going to have some some nut, some bolts with some wing nuts on that allow us to unscrew and then lift the solar panel up and tilt it to about a 45 degree angle obviously depending on where the sun is the, the hinge allows us to tilt it to whatever angle we want to and then we're going to have a bar underneath the other side of the solar panel which will allow us to prop that up and keep it in place. So let's go and install them. So here we have the clamp on top of the van. Not exactly how it's going to be fitted, but I just wanted to show you the, the idea. So obviously we've got the U bracket that goes underneath the ulti rack and then two bolts either side to clamp it in nice and tight and then the hinge on top, which will allow us to tilt the panel up and down. Obviously this, this bracket here is going to be fitted over on the, on the other side of the ulti rack over there and then we'll have the standard U side this side so that we can climb up in the ladder, just undo those wing nut bolts here and then lift the solar panel up. So we've got two of these, one for each two on each solar panel and then we'll have two U brackets on this side uh, holding the panel in, should give it nice and secure. Once it's clamped up nice and tight these panels shouldn't be going anywhere. Yeah, quite pleased with these brackets, just manufactured them out of a piece of flat metal bar that we've cut into different lengths and then moulded to the shape of the bar just under here, I don't know if you can see that under there, but it just sort of folds underneath the bar nicely um, and squeezes it in nice and tight once the bolt's done on it. So we've now measured out the distance between the racks on the top of the van and then we've marked and drilled into the side of the panel and now we've fitted our hinges in. So as you can see they're fitted in and this is how the hinge will work. So this is currently off the van, just so we can get everything tight. To fit it back up on the van, we just undo this bolt here and this bolt over on this side. Take this U-bracket off and then sit it back up on top of the van and clamp it all back together. So it looks like it's going to work really nicely. All the hinges are nice and straight on the bottom of the panel. Obviously make sure that you measure this quite a few times before you start drilling. Don't want to put too many holes into your panels. Also what we've done is we've made sure that the connection wires for the panels are at the bottom where the hinges are. Obviously you don't want these at top at the other end otherwise when the panels are led flat you're going to have to have quite a bit of cable trailing. These panels have the connections right near the bottom. At the moment they've got these crocodile clips on. We will be removing those and connecting them in. Yeah, it's all looking good. So next stage is to lift them back up on top of the van. Okay, so the panel is now attached back onto the bars. As you can see, we've put the U-brackets around underneath the ulti rack and the hinges are sitting on the outside. So looks really good. And the panel also tilts. So if we lift up this end of the panel, as you can see, tilts nicely on the on the hinge. You can angle the solar panel towards the sun. 
So next part now is just fixing the brackets on the other side so that we've got the quick release and then I think we're all done. So we've got another one of these to do, second solar panel that will be going just alongside over here. It'll be exactly the same setup for this one that we've got two hinges and then the two quick release bolts the other side. Really pleased, really pleased with that, looks good. So over on the other side of the van now we've got the bracket installed and we've installed some wing nuts on the two bolts going up on this one so just quick release you can just undo one of the wing nuts slide the bracket underneath and then you can tilt the panel so looking up on top the panel there's no movement at all in the panel which is really nice and strong it's not going to be going anywhere nice and sturdy nice and sturdy job there don't want them sliding around so good job done Tilting solar panels towards the sun as we said before, especially during the winter time when the sun is a bit lower in the sky, being able to tilt the panels is going to be really useful. That's been a bit of extra work to get these brackets working but it's definitely worthwhile. So you're driving along you're not going to be able to have them tilted but once you're parked up you can tilt them up towards the sun just to get that little bit of extra exposure. So yeah, really good. Obviously we'll be fitting the second panel like we said over on this side. Uh, but exactly the same style of brackets for, for both sides of the solar panels. So that's it for another instalment of our Mercedes camper conversion build. Tilting solar panels today, uh, we'll be connecting up the solar panels in the future, showing you how to do all that, connecting them into the leisure battery and into our solar charge controller. So remember if you are liking these videos to hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel and we'd love to hear from you in the comments if you've got any tips, tricks or just let us know what you're doing. Also, if there's anything you'd like to see on these videos, just drop us a message in our comments and we'll happily do a video for you. Obviously, we're only at a certain stage in our van build at the moment. There will be lots more to come. But if there's anything you'd like us to go over again that we haven't done or we'd like to go into a little bit more detail about something, put a message in our comments and we'll look forward to putting a video up for you on it. <laughs>